Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh yeah! Yee. Hello everyone and welcome to my walkthrough of Super Mario Odyssey on the Nintendo Switch. I am PK Gam and we'll be commentating from start to finish, whether you like it or not. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, yeah, I got this controller set up right here, just as shown, but well, this is more like a loading screen more than anything. I do recommend you play with this control scheme because it does give you a little bit more versatility. Super Mario Odyssey! Oh yeah! <laughs> so this game... Holy poopers! Speaking of versatility, it has got a lot of variety and a lot of stuff to collect. And also they just added VR for that new Nintendo label thing. I have not checked that out yet, but anyway! New game! Yes, yes. I know. I know. <laughs> so we begin. Nah, no assist mode. No, no. We're gonna play at full difficulty. <laughs> Max difficulty like a pro. In the skies above Peach's castle. It's Bowser! <laughs> Mario versus Bowser. A clash that will happen for all of time before they are the greatest of rivals. It appears as if Peach is in trouble again. Who would have guessed? <laughs> huh? What the? Sneak attack! Mario! No! Mario is defeated! He even lost his hat, so he'll take double damage! No, Bowser, that's a, probably a collector's item. <laughs> well, we can't let this happen. Someone grab the hats before it gets lost forever. Oh no! Well, someone find all the pieces and sew it all back together. Well, that's a start, I guess. Hmm. Who is that critter? Hmm. Hmm. It's black. Too black. Oh. Mario doesn't look too good. It's taking severe fall damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha! Take that. No, come back! I assure you, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not dangerous. Come back here. No, I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on, stay. Stop it. No. Well. It looks like he's not listening. Hello there, froggies. Hmm. You guys are having a good time with your top hats, just enjoying the view on this strange surface. Me? I am Mario. Well, I'm, I'm actually PK Gam, but details in the game, I'm Mario. And what, 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 what do you mean, one of them? Have you been under attack? Hmm? Huh? Wait, you were on the other side just a second ago. What's going on? So sorry for running away like that. You startle me, and uh, I do startle easily. I saw it happen earlier. You've been through quite the ringer. You've landed in the Cap Kingdom. We've been under attack by the same Bowser monster that gave you such a trouncing. And to make matters worse, the fiend has kidnapped my little sister. So that was the tiara with eyes. Ah, poopers. It's a double kidnapping. I hope to give chase to that Bowser monster in a ship my own. Oh, unfortunately all of our airships are wrecked in the attack. Looks like a lot of stuff was wrecked actually. But... Hmm. Although, now that I think of it, I'm fairly certain there's a functioning ship in the next kingdom over. 
I could get us there, if only I could reach the top of Tot Hat Tower, which is being guarded by the Bowser Monster's henchmen. You know, it seems they're after the same thing. Perhaps we should team up. I agree. Let's see if we can't help those Tierra Peach too. Uh, that's how I read it. <laughs> ah, my hat! Well you, well, you got part of my hat. That does not fit my style. Not your style? How about this? Hmm? Ah! That's much better! Whew! Even matches my upper half! Cappy is now your companion! Yes! That is his name, Cappy. Very creative. <laughs> You can throw at the Y button. Oh, look at that. You can also hit things with the Y button. Oh, man, look at that. It's just amazing. You can also whip your hand around to throw Cappy like so. If you whip both the uh, Joy-Cons to the side, or the other side, you can do like Zelda-esque spin attacks. And there's all sorts of other moves that you can do as well in this game. But I'm just gonna just gonna try and keep things relatively simple here by giving you the basics. If you jump and press ZL, you can do a ground pound. Control stick is obviously move around. B button is to jump. You can actually, and oddly, somehow pull stuff out of the ground with a floating object that has no leverage against anything else. But, well, it works, so don't question it. <laughs> you can also wall kick off of things. Classic Mario. And, yeah, there's a, there's a whole lot of stuff that you can basically interact with. Oh, I know, I know, it's just a disaster, and everything's got to hat in this place. As a matter of fact, remember that I was saying that this uh, surface area? Yeah, doesn't it, doesn't it seem familiar? Yeah, since it's the Hat Kingdom, this is all made of felt. Pretty cool, right? <laughs> anyway, there's all sorts of stuff that you can ex explore around here, but there's not really that many collectibles that you can get at this moment in time, because this is more like the intro tutorial, sort of get the hang of everything dealio game, and yes, I was just throwing my hat at those crates, and yes, that is a hat-shaped alcove over there. <laughs> oh, man. And everyone's in trouble around here. There's double kidnappings, people are potentially hurt. What to do? What to do? Well, I guess we should just explore casually. You know, that haste makes waste, as they say. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Bowser and Peach, a royal wedding. Hmm, we can't have that now. We, 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 gotta, we gotta take care of those advertisements before people get the wrong idea here. So I gotta take take care of those bad boys and get ourselves taking a look see around here to see if there's any other new dialogue around these parts. You know, we're, we're just getting the hang of things. We're collecting coins. Why are we collecting coins though? Well, they're used for stuff in the game. For one thing, if you die, you have unlimited lives of, as long as you have 10 coins or more. Because every time you die, you pay 10 coins and then you come back to life. And yeah, it's pretty handy like that. Welcome to Bonneton, Pride of the Cap Kingdom. You know all about the action guide? Eh, you could show me, I guess. Uh, oh, no, oh, all the music has stopped. All the music has stopped. So yeah, you can check out all sorts of stuff here if you would like to. But I'm going to cover basically this sort of stuff as I go and whatnot. So yeah, let's just kind of keep this keep this as, you know, keep it as simple as possible. I don't want to overcomplicate things. All right? All right. Get out of here, advert. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just basically exploring everything and anything, just for, just to see dialogue and whatnot. How's it going? A button to talk to people. I can see the Bowser Monsters minions from here, but all I can do is float helplessly and watch. Well, you could you could throw yourself at them, because apparently that's a pretty good uh, attacking method. And hearts increase your, well, I should say recovers your health, but well, well, we, we, we don't need to really come into any danger, so details. <laughs> I am going over there, but not before I just kind of wander around you. Oh man, Jackpot! Who would put coins in water over here in the middle of a hat? That's just crazy. And who would plug it? 
Who would plug it? I don't know. Anyway, this is the last of the stuff, I guess. I just wanted to kind of show you how things roll in this game before we get into some super high action, high octane battles of doom. And other than that, really, it's just I've already explored everything. <laughs> At least that I can right now. Hmm, travel tip, cap throw and hold. Want to break a whole stack of boxes or hit a question mark block a bunch of times? Just press and hold Y to do a cap throw and hold. Your cap will hover a bit and keep spinning. Yeah, you can also jump on the cap, by the way, and you'll get a little boost to your, uh, get a little boost to your move. But, well, but, well, that's a pretty, pretty advanced move, let's put it that way. By the way, what I'm doing here is the side flip. What you do is you move to one direction and you turn it to the other and you'll be able to flip and get a little bit more well do a <laughs> wow jeez <laughs> which is you as you you turn from one side go to the other and in that slide you do a jump basically anyway hit the switch and magically and out of the bottomless pits that's i guess not bottomless i guess maybe it's not magically because it's something mechanical but well we make this beautiful bridge up here over the felt rainbow, I, I, I guess you could say. And here we go, we got some micro Goombas. Yeah, they, they, they might, oh, they might know me from somewhere. But, well, I just took damage. What am I gonna do about that? Oh, look at that, I can get a heart. Oh man, that's, yeah, that's, that's what they do to recover your energy. And man, it's gonna take me forever to clear out these posters. And by the way, if you touch certain spots, like you've seen there, you might uncover invisible coins. All right, anyway, let's go in. Oh, ooh, we're into action zone now. So this is where you can try out that hat throw and hold the button. Yep, you can exhaust all the coins out of the blocks at once. Isn't that beautiful? So you don't have to keep whacking the block over and over repeatedly and whatnot. And right there, what I did was a long jump. Remember I showed you how to do the ground pound by pressing jump? and then ZL in midair. Well, if you press ZL to do a slide while you're running, and then do a jump, you'll do a long jump. That is a really handy move to have. So, ah, I hit my face on the edge. <laughs> so be sure to uh, give that a little try around the safety parts, because you will definitely need it. That ledge is awfully high. Hmm, I know, try throwing me at a frog. What a frog! Why would I want to do that? that, that don't, wouldn't you get all slimy and then I'll put you back on my head and then it'll just be a disaster to my hairdo? I guess I'll have to try it. Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, jeez, I made it slime! I... M. Frog. No, I mean literally. I am frog. <laughs> you captured a frog. Yes, that is one of Cappy's main powers. That when you throw Cappy at an enemy, you can sometimes. Well, okay, a lot of times, take over the enemy's body and use their abilities. You can do this to even classic Mario enemies and stuff like that. I know, I know, it's nutters, and you can even jump straight out of water using the frog. Hold the Y button to do a little running motions and whatnot, and by the way, Micro Goombas, they don't stand a chance against my frog body either. <laughs> anyway, I should probably probably get a move on here, you know. By the way, if you should, say, lose your frog power or something like that for some sort of dealio or whatnot, like take damage or you jump out of said frog, well, you can get another frog there. <laughs> But you know we don't we don't kind of don't want to do that right now because we have, we've already got the tools that we need for victory anyway. Let's go up here and get a whole bunch of coins by jumping through hoops. And I don't I don't mean like that in a bad way. I mean in a good way. <laughs> Hello guys. Ow! Oh, you guys have sharp teeth. Okay, we're good. Don't worry. There's another heart coming up. I just I just failed my landing. By the way, the micro goombas. 
Uh, when they see you, they'll automatically go for you, so you can actually just stand in one place, you know, and, like, jump, just jump once, and then they'll all go underneath you and basically kill themselves, so... <laughs> one of the easiest enemies in the game to deal with. But I cannot deal with that one block for some reason, apparently. Alright. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Press ZL to return to normal, huh? Well, if you did that a little bit too early, well, you'd have to grab that other frog. But now's the time you can do that. By the way, the uh, things that you take over will eventually disappear. And then you'll have to go back to where you last seen one and grab one from theirs. But you can recapture it if you're quick enough uh, before it disappears. That is a little health increaser. We've now got six hits in instead of three. Fantastico. And uh, this is... Uh, this is a door here. If it's got a hat on it, throw your hat at it. <laughs> oh. Oh man, this is... Oh man. All the ships are truly wrecked. At least I think they're ships. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. This is not looking good. Even the... That's a, that's a little uh, checkpoint fly. You can use that to warp around. I'll show you about that later. That Bowser monster is ruining everything. Bad days do happen, but you've got to, <laughs> but you've got to keep a stip off your brim. Can't you do something to help us? Who could be responsible for this? I'm so scared I can hardly move. Don't worry, guys. I'm sure I can do something about this. That Bowser monster's long year henchman is still on top head tower. I'd say, do be careful. Okay, woo, jackpot! <laughs> and we've made it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This doesn't look too good. Oh man. <laughs> the Bowser boss warned me that there'd be a fellow with a mustache coming along. Yes, we ought to introduce ourselves. We're the wedding planners for the happy Bowser Peach couple. They call us the Brutals! We got that tiara treasure we needed, so we ain't got no more business in these parts. Of course, roughing up goody two shoe meddlers was in the contract, so I guess we still got a little work to do. Uh oh! Oh no! Already a boss! How could this be? It's. It's Topper! The, probably one of the easiest bosses ever. So he just kind of kind of wanders around there, and then you can do that spin attack thingy, but you, you don't even have to let him do that spin attack or anything like that. Just knock his hats right off his head, jump on his head, and call it a day. <laughs> Pay attention to which hat he was in, and if you knock it around a few times, you'll be able to get him back out of there. You can also hit the other hats to get them to, to stay out of your way, because they're all spiky and stuff like that. But, well, eh, eh, not that big of a deal or anything like that. Oh, yeah, very easy boss. Should be. It's, I mean, it's pretty early in the game. <laughs> Woo! What the poop is this thing? Hmm. Most impressive. Well, let's use this wire to make our way onward. Well, how the heck are we going to use a wire? Are we, are we actually going to climb on that wire to go all the way over to that misty type area there? Well, let's find out. Oh! 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 <laughs> yeah, that's not the only thing that Cappy can do. Woo! Next world, here we come. The Cascade Kingdom, Fossil Falls! <laughs> well, that's certainly better than climbing on the rope, the, or say the wire the whole way there. Oh jeez, the wire even broke off. Now that I lost electricity, it's gonna take them months to fix. Whoa! Whoa! Holy poopers! A power moon? What is a power moon? Yeah, oh yeah, what a ride! We made it to the Cascade Kingdom! So sorry, still a bit amped from capturing a power line. Must collect myself. There should be an old airship somewhere around here. Let's see if we can't find it. Alright, so let's do that. 
in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.